You are listening to the Wooden Spoon Podcast. I'm your host, Carlo Russo. And now, let's start the show. So for all right thank you austin giorgio for the opening song check out austin giorgio on youtube and facebook and all that mike hello we got something new today i know it's kind of weird check this out we are on video why are we on video why because you told me to. <laughs> no, yeah. You want to... <laughs> That's true. You I, said, did Mark, you... I think we should go on video. Right. Uh, because one of the main reasons why we should go on video is because we're going to be opening up a YouTube channel and then dropping this video onto that. Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Please welcome everybody. Brother Mike. Hola. And... Hola. And we have producer Tali. Behind the camera there. What up, what Say up, hi, Tally. Hello. Hello. I like your giddy up today. Looking good, kid. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, he's got the uh, he's got the uh, white Adidas. Uh, we will uh, we will uh, have a picture of him while we're talking. Yeah, I will edit this good. after. Yeah, yeah. Have a picture of him on the uh, side there. We'll do a little picture. Oh, side, little, side little side picture, side picture. Side so we are back today. Is Monday. Monday. What did you call it the other day? Corona Monday. Corona Monday. Well, it that could be Corona anything. That was really, yeah. Corona Tuesday, Corona Tuesday tomorrow. Tuesday, right. um, so that's a Corona Monday. I hope everybody had a safe a safe uh, weekend. weekend? Uh, they, they stayed at home. Right? Sunday's weekend. Sunday's well, it's all a weekend. Right. Uh, for right. people that are home. Right. For people that right. are home. Uh, it's all a weekend. Yes, you get to see how we look like. Um, if you've been Carl's watching... not wearing a robe today. <laughs> <laughs> if you've been uh, If you've been watching or listening... Uh, to the podcast for the last uh, week, two weeks. Uh, yes. You're like, who the hell are these schmucks? Uh, here we are. Now you can see it's full fledged schmucks. Full fl- um, yes. So as you said, I'm not wearing a robe. I am wearing a shirt that I bought in Vegas. One of my times in Vegas. I go to Vegas You've every there... other day. Wait, 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 wait. Every other You've day. Been I'm there in... once? Twice. Twice. Uh, every other day I'm in Vegas. Um, so. And he doesn't so, gamble. So no, I don't. So I got this shirt. Uh, what are you wearing? What is I'm that? I'm wearing... Uh, Does that say Crapper's Delight? What is no, that? No, it says Lapper's Landing. Lapper's Landing? Lapper's Landing. It's a... Uh, what it's, a camp, it's a campground. friend of mine's campground. For what? For camping. Camping. It's a campground. Do, did you just say for what? Yeah. What, 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 uh, Chippewa Bay. Huh? Chippewa Bay. Chippewa Bay. Chippewa Bay. What the hell's Chippewa Bay? That's it's up. It's up north. What almost do you do towards, Chippewa almost Bay? Almost towards... Am I, almost towards Canada. What do you do it up... What do you do there? Uh... F- Boating, fishing, fishing, fishing. Yeah, fishing. Yeah. Well, um, just a quick, quick question yeah. for you. Drinking. Well, yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Because if I need to be drunk if I'm camping. Yeah. <laughs> um, when the when the hell do you go fishing? When have you ever gone fishing? Never. <laughs> but that's one of the that's, that's one of the things you do up there. So ever since I've been going up there, I started to fish. Yeah. But I don't like the worm on the hook. I don't like that. I hate doing that. Put the worm on the hook? Yeah. I don't like doing that. Drink it out of the tequila? <laughs> I will drink it out of the tequila. Right. If I'll drink it out of the tequila, why can't I hook it? I don't know. Maybe you should drink the tequila, then hook it up. But you'd probably hook your finger and then right. you and throw then yourself I'll go, in there. Yeah, right. And then you don't want that. The St. Lawrence. Whale. Yeah, it's the St. Lawrence fish. River. It's beautiful. So By the way, it is, it is it is it is a beautiful place to fish. Though. All the right, Saint so uh, yeah. go to uh, Crapper's Landing. Lappers. Huh? Lappers. Why does that sound like a strip? Is it a stripper's no. camp? I mean, Where you strippers could, go? You could have <laughs> strippers camp. Where strippers go on vacation. So, yes. If you're a stripper, we love strippers. You can. I mean, we don't love You them. can bring strippers. Well, yeah. You can bring But that's them. like the, a campsite for strippers. Lap, lap, lapters? Lap, lap, lappers. Lap dance? What the hell? Lap dance and landers. Lap, okay, so. Lap uh, dance and landers. So we are not sponsored by lapters. No. Crapper's Landing. No. No. Okay. We're it looks not. like a C. Yeah. Crapper's Landing. Crapper's Landing. Uh, so I went on shirts. I have Vegas. Um, you do? Yeah, you went on the t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I went on t-shirts. Uh, yeah. Tali looks like he's going to a soccer match. Tali looks like uh, part of the Beastie Boys, right? Hey! <laughs> uh, we like to uh, we like to thank uh, In Corner Cafe. The In Corner Cafe is our sponsor. In Corner. Our oh, sponsor. Cafe. This is not from In Corner Cafe. Yeah, what do you drink? What's your, what's this that? is my morning brew. Morning brew. Yeah, it's a little morning brew. It's nice. What is it? What's in Cold that morning? Cold coffee and Kahlua. 
Oh, yep, a little, uh, yep, yep, yep. A little alcohol in the morning, too, yeah. yeah. Well, come on, really. I mean, a little Kahlua. It's little not, Kahlua. It is alcohol, but it isn't. It's yeah. like, you're not, yeah. it's not like I'm getting hammered. It just gives it a nice little bite to it. So, uh, so I, I realized today, I realized today that um, in the last month, Month that I've been home, maybe. Yeah. yeah uh, this yeah. is the second one, two, one, two. Uh, time that I've wore jeans. I've seen yes. pants. I was kind of impressed. I'm wearing pants. Uh, the nice thing is, the last time I wore these pants, a little tighter. Today, loose, loose. loose. So you, I've gained weight. Loose. Since this. Oh, loose. And, but, and, I've been walking two hours a day. Yeah, that helps. Loose. That helps. I put them on. I bun. Doesn't that feel great? Corona wins. Corona wins. Did you Corona say Corona wins? Huh? Did you say I put them on a bundle. Bundle. Did no, you just didn't bundle. Oh. I buttoned them up. Oh, I buttoned nice. them. Buttoned them up. Listen, I buttoned it all up. So, uh, uh, Tali, how are we doing on time? How are we doing on time? Is it still recording? Yeah. Okay. Wow. So, what we're doing wow. right now, we are recording. We're not fancy, people. Are we no, fancy? No, no. This is a uh, fancy. Fancy. I'm wearing a Lapras You're wearing a Crapper's the Delight shirt. Yeah. And uh, my uh, my uh, producer, Tali, intern Tali, is part of a European soccer team, I think. Yes. Um, slash Beastie Boys. S- slash Beastie Boys. Yes. And um, and we're uh, and we're using a iPhone to record this. Right. We're using an iPhone. Your personal. Record. What I don't know is how long I can record. So uh, might be a really quick show. So once Tally <laughs> says this, but or does this, yeah, we're, we're done. done. But uh, obviously our audio will continue. Right. right. Our audio will continue. Right. Oh, now you sing. I'm a singer now. You didn't sing before the camera our came out. Cameras do yeah, something see, different to me. I knew it. You know that. I knew you it. You know that. See, now that the camera's on yeah. me, I've calmed down. I'm right. Like, <laughs> I'm like, like the, the camera know. will pick me up. So if you if you uh, listen to our previous show or shows, I'm like high. I was mute, going, high pitching, like yeah. like I'm going through. Puberty. What does Bob say? <laughs> yeah. All the dogs in the neighborhood were at my doorstep. I uh, no wonder why. So. Yeah. You're watching the Wooden Spoon Podcast, episode 11. We made no. it to 11. No. No. It's 12. 12. Holy shit, Yeah. Dolls. Hello. Episode 12. It was the weekend. So uh, yeah. this is the second time I've worn jeans in uh, a month. Ma- yep. I yep. feel good about it. Yep. At the same time, I'm disgusted that I've been wearing. Now, I haven't been wearing sweats. Sweats is the number one. You're a piece of shit. Um, because you live in sweats. Right. Right? Right. And all I can imagine is the, you know, back in the 80s sweats with the, with the elastic on the back. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, God. The, the ones at you Walmart for $5.99. There are some nice sweatpants Now they're nice. Out there, real, like, which they get you because they're like, I look fancy. I look good in these. So I can go to church with my got sweats. pockets. Yeah. And everything. Put yeah. your wallet in wallet there. Wallet in there. Yeah. So, uh, I like it. I love it. I love so it. So a good thing and a bad thing. I'm, I'm, I wear shorts a lot. I wear, that's all I wear. Oh, shorts. I love shorts. So you don't feel as as much of a loser. You don't feel as small. As, uh, <laughs> that's what I thought. A that's loser, like, loser. Uh, when you're wearing shorts. So uh, it's been a way. With that, with Speaking that, of um, things you haven't done in a while. Clothes. Yeah. How about our freaking hair, how dude? About it? Look, look at this. Look at this. Yeah. Like, I'm, this is not me. Yeah. I don't, my hair is, I can't. Like I don't know what to do. I like I just want to don't go, do like, anything. I just want to go and like break in the super. Everyone is go buzzing their head. head. I ain't buzzing I'm, shit. We ain't buzzing shit. I ain't buzzing shit. Um, I got too small. My forehead's too small. It I is. I mean, what would you look like? I would look like a. I mean, I'd look like a normal ball person. My head, my forehead is. My receding hairline. I, receive, I, I would look here. like you would. I would look like Eddie Munster. Yeah, you would not make a pretty, pretty bald boy. No. So thank God we have hair. Right. Um. So yeah, the haircut thing. Haircut. So you know, open up, people. Well, I wear my masks. I wear my gloves. Open up. You guys gotta start opening up. Now today you did something amazing. Who did? You, pro- you. I did. That you probably wouldn't even think you would ever do. What you did a do? virtual. Maybe I'm lying, but <laughs> <laughs> you, you did doing? a virtual. Um, you did a virtual oh, doctor's vir- appointment. Virtual doctor's appointment. These are happening all over the place. You know what the funnier one was? And I'll let you talk. Someday. Someday. Um, uh, people are doing virtual dentistry. Like, How, what? I Excuse guess you me? open your mouth. Ah! Yeah, I can see your cavity. And then they're like, oh, you're looking all... I don't know what that is. All about... But uh, today you did a virtual... What did they do? So, the the main the main thing is they're just... They just go... They went through mom's meds list. Speak sure. English. <laughs> they went through mom's meds list. Mm-hmm. They just pretty much ask you questions. And how you the, feeling? How you feeling? But the number, the the main thing is the the incisions. They want to see the incision. Our mother had surgery. Mom, yeah, oh, mom had heart surgery. Yep. So I mean, big deal, but we won't yeah. Do. But uh, so 
but mom also has nurses come over twice a week that are cute. Hell yeah, she does. So her incisions. They probably her, know that her son is, you know, a little crazy. So her incisions looked great. Oh. No. Her incisions looked great. Everything actually was pretty, it was pretty cool. Cool. Was, so you yeah. did a virtual, virtual doctor's, doctor's appointment. appointment. Pretty much. Yeah. I, so I had one done myself. I didn't want to tell, I didn't tell anybody. The weirdest thing was is, it, the was weirdest it, thing, was huh? your gastroenterologist? No, no, it was my regular doctor. The weirdest thing is, I had to put my balls on my iPhone, and I had to cough. <laughs> you teabagged your iPhone? Ah, oh, you teabagged. And then he goes, turn your head Wait please. a minute. Turn your head The please. same phone we're recording on? Oh, absolutely. So your balls are on that Yeah, phone. and then he said, Did uh, you disinfect it? No, I just put my balls on it. He goes, uh. let me look. <laughs> turn your head, cough. <laughs> And then he said, can you ask uh, one of your uh, family members to stick your finger up your ass to check your prostate? Great. So things have changed. Things have changed. Now you're None kids of that has happened. Doctors now. None of that has happened. Yeah. It was a porn site I was on. Um, again, that did not happen. www.shutupcarlo.com. That didn't happen. <laughs> that didn't happen at all. Yeah. Um, so. That was interesting. That was interesting, that huh, was today? Interesting, yeah. Yeah. So a lot of things are going to be happening to that. Uh, people are gonna be doing a lot more virtual shit. All right now, they realize, yo, you know, I don't have to come. In. Now, imagine, wait a minute, imagine when we come back to this world and we can all do this, and somebody goes, yes, uh, could you come in for a checkup? They're like, not checkup, but a follow up. Yeah, why don't you just call me? I mean, you know what's gonna happen? Why don't you just you call me? No, I can't take time off you of work. I'll talk to you on break. Absolutely, it's gonna happen. And they're gonna say we can't do that. Yes, you can. Absolutely. Yes, you You're can. You're gonna be able to zoom it. And, and then once employer once employers get a get a hold of this, they're like, okay, you don't have to leave work to go to the doctor. Oh, now. you're sick today. You don't have to take a day off. You're now. sick today. That's fine. Go to work. Go to work on Zoom. Zoom. We have a meeting. We we'll have a meeting about you it. You stupid asshole. asshole. So I don't think about the sick thing, but a lot more people, a lot more people might be able to work at home. Right. Because now they're like, wait a minute. Now you're telling me I can't. I did all my work before. I did more than my work. Right. Well, so let's see. So we'll see. It's the crazy so, world we live in. That's right. So we want to make sure with that, take care of each other, take care of ourselves, and stay home and stay the fuck off the streets. Okay. Um, Second. Third? What do we have? Uh, that's probably why third. number? So we have hair. Why we have I pants. Number? I don't know why. We have a list. Why, uh, oh, we do. So I guess uh, this mandatory... Man so we obviously... Well, I don't know, but uh, me and Carl... Tali, can you look up if it's a mandatory... It phone? is. Upstate New York and New York State is mandatory masks. Go we, grab your phone. Go yeah, yeah it definitely is. I it is. It's, it's definitely head. mandatory. Go, well, go I know, but we need your phone. It's part of your job. Um, <laughs> yeah. go, go to your job without your fake job. Your fake job. Your fake job. Tell you, do your fake job right. So, um, um, so yeah, everybody mandatory has masks. Uh -huh. So, I'm noticing uh, certain places won't even let you in. Really? They say, "Where's your mask? Where's your mask? Where's your mask?" I went into. Can a you put a, any I mask went, on, like a Hulk Hogan mask or like a Halloween mask? Yeah, I don't know. No, I'm talking about these freaking surgical masks, whatever they're, you know, There you go. These hospital masks. I'm not I going do. with a freaking uh, welder's mask on. Oh, I should try that. You could. Put I a see welder's people, mask on? I see, no, welder's mask. <laughs> I'm such an idiot, I don't even know what a welder's mask is until he went like this. <laughs> then, oh. then you knew exactly what yeah, I was talking about. Welder's mask, mask yeah. of course. <laughs> um, so, yeah, uh, so everybody's got to wear the masks. We all look like bank robbers. Healthy bank robbers. How, yeah. Healthy bank You know what, though? Some I'm not making fun of this. Everybody should do it. I do it. Everybody, you leave the place. Blah, 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 blah. There's some cool masks they're coming out with. Yeah, it really is sports masks. The, the, I was just gonna say the sport because oh, I want to get the sport. I want to yeah. get the next Bobby saw your Giants when we saw, saw our Bills, Giants, go Bills, Bills, Super Bowl. Yeah, uh, um, those are pretty cool. <laughs> those are pretty cool. That's right. I would, so, I, would, um, I wouldn't mind wearing one. So speaking of sports, little by little they're gonna start opening the sports world back up again. That's what I hear. But no fans. No but fans. No fans. Fan they're, they're, they might only play in designated areas of the country. True. Where, where the, the I heard Arizona's one big one for the maybe, basketball uh, game. How is that going to work? Going to work deliciously. I don't think it's going to work. Yeah. I think the best is UFC. That Dana White bought it. Bought an an island. Island. He's got a uh, UFC island. Yeah. Fight, Fight island. island. So he doesn't so have to follow any rules. See, that's that's to me that's sad. Just because you want to get your no, 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 no. No, just no. because you want to get your way. It's not because of it's that. It's not It's that. because for the U.S. to be funded by U and ESPN, they, get paid. And they, ask the, they have to have 180 shows on ESPN. And he wants to pay his employees. And he doesn't want to lay off anybody. If he doesn't have those shows, he's not okay. going to get funded so by ESPN. So he bought an island, rented an island, bought an island. I, I don't know. It, right? When anything is called renting or buying an island, it's pretty much the same thing. But, but, I, I mean, I, well, can't, I, I, I can't even rent a car. <laughs> let alone I can, but... 
for this joke. I can't. Right. Um, but he, he's running an island, so he can, he's going to put the top... Listen to this. He's building the top-notch working uh, 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 facilities, a uh, workout facility. Oh, sure. Top-notch medical. Top-notch living quarters. So what this the, is going to be it's for the newest thing players. ever. Huh? I know, but what it's... I mean, I, I think it's always going to be like that, though. Should be. Even when, even when the, the country or the world gets back to normal, if it does... He's still. You think he's going to give up the island after this? He's going. Well, yeah, he's running out. it because people have to be like hel helicoptered in and shit. <laughs> it's an island. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they have to go like, oh, yeah, I'm going to the USA to fight tonight. Yeah, that's your workout. Oh, it is. That's right. You're working on your. But uh, for now, yeah, because uh, they they can do that and uh, his employees can get paid. He doesn't want to lay off anybody. I don't know if he has, but he doesn't want to. All right, that's, so you know that's pretty impressive. Right? So I change your mind. I, I, whatever mean thing I said about him, I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> you thought, oh, I'm greedy. Nope. Yeah. Yeah, he's trying to pay everyone. Just stick my hand. He's in trying to pay everyone. Yeah. So fans, uh, uh, sports without fans. Yeah. How would that it's look not, like? It's not. It's not. I think the psychic, the psychic of a, of psychic. a psychic. Um, the psyche. The psyche of, of, of um, the uh, the players. Like, how can they be excited right. to go play? The only thing I can think of. The only thing they're, they're gonna have no. They're gonna like. I don't have. I'm LeBron not, said um, when they when they first asked him before all this corona and they were like, um, the NBA is thinking about. Giving, like putting fans away. Right. And he was like, if the fans are gone, I'm not going to play. Yeah, because, because that's, the only, that's the only reason I play is for damn. the fans. Because that's their fuel to their fight. This is, yeah. when they're on now, this is, this is what I would say. Okay? If football happens to do this, I don't know. Football starts in September. Usually like September 9th. I really don't want to talk about football because I want winter. summer. Right, right, right. But, but I, I don't want to talk about winter. For instance. For instance. Football, in any sport, home field advantage is very important. Because when you're on offense, it's very quiet at home. Yeah. When they're on offense, the other team, very loud. Yeah, it's thir it's your, uh, so I would say this. If you're a football player or a sports player, you know what they should do? Filter in fake crowds. <sighs> so they can just get pumped up. Something! Yeah, so on TV, it looks like there's people cheering. Give me something. I, Make it Hollywood. I think we have to experience it first before we can judge it. That's the problem. Now, I've watched football... I've watched football without uh, an audience. It was called the XFL. But then, uh, right no. out the door, XFL. A XFL had actually fans in it. But there was a league. There was a league m many moons ago. I said moons. Many moons okay. ago, that was called the UFL or ULF. Or I don't know. It doesn't matter. What? Uh, yeah, the United Football League. The UFL. They literally had seven people in the stands. So but they still played. And they played. And it was I watched it. Not bad. Didn't even know a player's name, right. but I watched it. You know why? Because it was football. football. So I think football can get away with it. Baseball is so boring to watch on TV, anyways. Who cares? Uh, and then uh, yeah, but basketball, the playoff, baseball playoffs, though. Regular, no, I'm not talking about playoffs. Regular, any playoffs. Regular season. Any play, dude, no, playoffs. Dude, baseball playoffs are pretty bad. I understand. They I'm are. just saying the season. It's yeah. seven years long. It is. Bad, Jim, bad, whatever. Basketball but, but, can't but, do it. Basketball. Yeah, I don't think you ever see you ever see those colleges or uh, uh, the Vegas stuff back in the day the D leagues now they're all popular D leagues when we used to watch the D league there was seven people I know. and they thought they were at the UFL. Well, yeah. like watching the NBA if there was no fans like let's just say like I mean LeBron, LeBron, LeBron or somebody gets a fast break dunks it like yeah there's they no can't, ah! they can't right. get hype over it exactly is it still recording. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you're um, gonna ask him well, every time. Absolutely. This is the first he's one. Give us the oh, he's gonna cut, give us cut, this. He's gonna cut, do this. Cut, 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 he's gonna do this. Cut, cut. Yeah. Uh, so uh, <laughs> I want to welcome everybody, guys. If you're listening on SoundCloud right now, go over to YouTube. It's called the Wooden Spoon Podcast. Yes. I presume because we haven't opened it yet. No. We will right after nothing. this. Nothing. We but have go nothing with, right now. Go over to the Wooden Spoon <laughs> Podcast. Look it up on YouTube. Subscribe. Hit the button. Ding. Ding and ding. you'll get notified every time there's a new video. Hit the button. Ding! And you'll get notified every time there's a new video. Did I just say that? You said it twice. Deja vu. That's okay. Okay. Uh, so that's that. That's that. So if you're watching us, if you're listening to us and go, what do these two, three schmucks look like? Bam. Boom. YouTube. Done. All right. What, what do you got? Oh, so uh, last gonna... week we went with March sadness. Sadness in April. In April. Brackets. Brackets are done. No, so we got. They're not seven. done. We got one more. To no, do. the bracket, the main bracket, was done because nothing happened. So right. we made our own bracket. Oh, you, yeah, March Madness. The yeah, bracket, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, right, the right, March right, Madness right, bracket right. is done, yeah, over with, never happened. So second. we made our own oh, bracket. We got our bracket. Yeah, yeah we got our own bracket. Today's a, my favorite one. Today's it favorite is. One. So Today's we are favorite? doing. We are doing. Obviously, we did the. Uh, well, We're in the South region, last region. So here's the deal. 
Uh, we've been doing a region once a show. Yep. So uh, start in Wednesday, we're, we're just to kind of make it up. We're going to go to the next round. We're going to go to the next round. We're right. going to do two regions two at rounds. a time. I mean, two regions. Two right. regions at a time. And so and Friday yeah, we'll April's end about to end. Yep. And we don't want to prolong this too much. Right. So, yeah, we might even go further. Who knows? We never know. Because not that many people left. Okay. okay. Yeah. So after we do the South, you said the South? We're on the South. Today's right the South. Now. After we do the South, we're going to recap. All the uh, brackets, uh, the uh, uh, division winners, whatever yep, yep, they are. Yep, yep. Uh, let's go. Yep. All right, all right. Number one seed. So, number one seed versus number eight seed. Number one, number eight. It was a top 32, so that's why right. there's eight. So, Good. number one, Sylvester uh -huh. Stallone. <laughs> Sly Stallone. Versus number eight, Michael Imperoli. Michael Imperoli. 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 If you don't know how to say his name, he's probably not a huge actor. Uh, no, he's probably he is. It's oh, just, he's all right. I mean, yeah. No, he's good. Yeah, um, he ain't no Sylvester Stallone. He's, he ain't no, no sunshine. Sunshine. I need, I need my uh, my list. Yeah, oh. so I can tell you what the hell he's done. Oh, uh, so uh, let's go. Uh, number one, Sly Stallone. We all know him. Yeah, somebody talk. Just take a pick, Sly Stallone. I mean, come on, really? Right. Yeah. Guy's been in a million movies. Right, 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 and right. And then um, Michael, who, who what movies this guy? Michael and uh, he was in The Sopranos. Okay. In Law and Order. Oh, the uh, the white haired guy. Nope, that's Vincent. Um, oh, yeah. Frank Vincent. Uh, no, he's a young guy. <laughs> young the guy. Sopranos. You, you, if you saw his look him up. Look him up and show. I don't, I don't, I don't care. Don't to be honest with you, I'm done. Okay, I'm he's finished. not gonna win this anyway. He's not. He's yeah. got no chance. Okay, so so uh, so uh, Sly, Sly Stallone. Sly. Sly goes in number one. No brainer. Um, no brainer. Tally. Sorry. Everybody's on one. Yeah. Obviously. Okay. You're on Sly, number right? two. Number two. So uh, two versus seven. Two versus seven. James. Galdolfini. James Galdolfini. Versus Stanley Tucci. Now. Dude, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now. I, I'm, I'm going to say it. Uh, James Galdolfini is, was great. Passed away. God rest his soul. Uh, yeah, uh, same. Um, and Stanley Tucci? Stanley Tucci. All the way. Uh, Actor? Yeah. Yeah. I mean. That bald-headed motherfucker. He's good. He's amazing. He is good. He does everything. He's good. That, uh, That's that, my. That turn. Look it up. Okay, I, 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 no, no, wait a minute. Cause, cause James, you don't have to agree with me. No, I. This was this was my upset because I'm. Uh, Tally's I'm, looking it up right now. He's looking up the two people. He, I mean, obviously, he didn't have any major roles in, in big star, big shot movies. Who? James, James Goldolfi. Yeah, like, I was I was looking at uh, Stanley Tucci and the movies that he was in definitely. Yeah, Stanley Tucci is is is, 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 is a sleeper. So he's amazing. I, I, Carlo obviously picked Stanley. Yeah, oh. I'm gonna pick him too. So oh, we got our win. up seven, the seven. First seven. Round. Not only but Golafini is was amazing. amazing. Yeah, uh, uh, one of the first uh, shows that actually showed uh, a mob guy or a, a, a guy in the mafia or any kind of thing, a right. powered for right. guy being vulnerable right. when he used to go to, like the, his uh, therapist and yep. all yep. the stuff he's done. That was one of the first times you saw that instead of like you know like the the Godfather where they're all tough at me. So he did amazing. He did. Uh, but because he because he passed away so early right. in his life, so right. young, that he didn't have a lot of huge movies. Right. He would have probably had huge movies. No, sooner or huge later. Huge movies. Sooner or later, yeah. Um, uh, but Stanley Tooth. Yeah, I'm down with that too. All right, so that, that, that number seven beats a number two. Yeah, okay, what do we big. got? What do we got? That's pretty big. So we got number three, number, number six. Number three and six. Mm -hmm. Danny Aiello. Danny Aiello, oh my God. Who is he? Uh, Good fellas. And yeah, Vert's Vincent Pastor. Pastor. Oh my God! Vincent Pastor was uh, who? Um, again, we've been doing all this stuff here. Vincent Pastor. Vincent Pastor. Pastor. Vincent Pastor is a big pussy, on um, and uh, and Sopranos. Uh, and Danny Aiello all day. I mean, look up Danny Aiello. I mean, I mean Big Pussy was great, yeah. but Danny Aiello. Danny Aiello. I mean, so yeah. I'm right, Dolly, Danny Aiello. Yep. Okay. He's in my favorite movie. Yeah. yeah. Godfather Part Two. Danny Aiello is amazing. Yeah. So, uh, God six, rest his soul. Vincent Pastor. Goodbye. Goodbye. And the last one, yeah. and you know, this is this is gonna be pretty funny, but uh, <laughs> it's Frank Vincent number four. Frank Vincent, and, Law and Order, and, and and battling number five, Danny DeVito. Ha! Oh my God! Yeah, there's I, a, there's I, your I second upset. Even, I can't even. Can't, there's no. That's a like. That's a Danny DeVito no as an actor that's is amazing. amazing. He amazing. can do comedy. Com he does. Everything. He everything. does independent movies. He's done. He's done. Um, uh, Did you see the last one he was in with The Rock? Uh, um, uh, uh, the Park thing, where the the Rock and and. Uh, 
Kevin Hart. And, oh, uh, uh, Jumanji. 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 Oh, uh, Dan uh, DeVito was hilarious. Uh, that's what I, said. I, I said that the other day. Dan DeVito, all day. Okay, Frank um, Vincent. Another upset. Frank Vincent's fine. He's I know, but actor. he didn't know Danny but he's DeVito. not Danny DeVito. Unfortunately, uh, Danny DeVito, why was he number five? I, I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you right now. I forgot him. Ooh. We talked about him. Because we didn't see we him. We talked about him. No, we, no, we talked him. about him. He's too short. And we, we, didn't didn't see him. <laughs> we talked about him, and uh, when we made the list, uh, he didn't make it. Yeah. Not because we didn't want it. I forgot. And I, I called Michael. Oh, my God, Dan DeVito. Right. So I had to kind of uh, finagle some stuff. So, so that's your... That's your let's go through it. So the South was Sylvester Stallone. Sly Stallone pulls over. Stanley Tucci. Tucci, upset. Danny Aiello. Upset. Danny DeVito. Upset. Boom. Now, the right Actually, uh, so, uh, Danny Aiello was not upset. He was no, in the preseason. Yeah. So, okay. the recap of all the brackets. Yes. East bracket was Al Pacino. Al Pacino. Joe Mantegna. Joe Mantegna. John Turturro. 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 and Ray Romano. Turturro. West was Robert De Niro, Leo DiCaprio, Ray Liotta, Ralph Macchio. Damn, Ralph Macchio. Yeah. Ralph Macchio. North is... He's going to get his ass whooped. North is Joe Pesci... John Travolta, Mark Ruffalo, and Tony Danza. Oh, what a... Tony Danza. Yeah, and then the up. South, Sly, Tusi, Aiello, DeVito. We did it. That we did is it, our boys. first region bracket. Wednesday, come Wednesday, we're going to match up all the... Uh, uh, all, all the uh, brackets? Brackets. Oh, whatever. Yeah. All the uh, um, regions. Winners. Regions. Thank regions. you. Regions, yes. Uh, regions were... Um, regions uh, exams. They are uh, eliminated this year? Are canceled. Right. Canceled. Are yes. canceled. Regions are, yeah, they are canceled. So wow. if anybody listening from New York, you'll know what we're talking about. Anybody else? No, no fucking clue. No. Uh, so that was the March Sadness in April. Right at Italian American actors. Uh, or American Italian. Uh, Italian American. Either or. Uh, either or. Um, so that ass. was fun. That was fun. What's on the list? What, what, what we have? We have things we want to talk about. We are 27 minutes long. That's still recording. I'm not excited. Bad. Not I'm bad. excited. We're gonna give you guys. It's roughly a 30, 35 minute first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show. So, so what else is on there, Mike? On, on, your, the list, on your list it's of called things. A whiteout. Huh? Whiteout. We talked about everything. Everything, baby. Really? That's all you gave me. That's all we gave you. Wow. So, uh, what do you want to? What do you want to accomplish this week, Mike? What do you want Accomplish to accomplish this, this week, week on, the, on the podcast? What do you want? What? Where's our goal? This is our uh, episode twelve, episode one on YouTube. Episode one. It's always on it's always good to have goals and anything you. You do should money. always have goals. goals. And this yeah, is even let's when talk playing, about goals. even when you're playing soccer. Oh, he, which <laughs> po- producer Tally is doing right now? Um, you should always have goals. Yes. Um, so why? Goal, why should you always have goals? Because once you hit your goal, you set new ones. Right, but wrong. You should always have goals because it gives you motivation. It gives you motivation, and it gives you a structure to go th- right. through. Right. If you don't know what you want, you have nowhere to how to get there. Right. If you know what you want to do, you know what you need to do to get there. So you go into the grocery store and you have no idea what to buy. You're just walking around. Right. Anywhere. You're just aimlessly walking in the around, grocery store. Like, I, I don't, you have I don't no plan. Have no plan. You have no goals. No, no I'm going to buy broccoli, broccoli. today. <laughs> I'm going to buy milk. Toilet paper. If you don't know what you need and you just go to the grocery store, you're just walking. Now you're just exercising. Gotcha. So that if that's your goal, you're uh, succeeding. Right. You're exercising. Right. So, but, uh, right. so my, my idea is start small, obtainable. And look large. Nope. Start small, obtainable, uh, uh, obtainable goals obtainable. At, the, at the moment. Obtainable. Right? Yeah. So things that you can achieve. So I wouldn't, I'm not going to say, this week I want to become Hollywood's number one athlete. Right. <laughs> and, and actor. And, and right. sidekick. And sidekick. Right. Can't say that because that will never happen. Right. I'm going to say, this week I would like to have... A YouTube channel started. <laughs> right. What you're going to do right after we do Gold check. Video. Done. Bam. Right. We did it. But Done. that's something that we don't have right now. Nothing. So when we do we it, it's an accomplishment. accomplishment. But we got nothing. But right we have now. an accomplishment nothing. when it's done. Yeah. So that's a goal. So this week, uh, for our... And if you're watching this, we succeeded. <laughs> uh, We're trying our best. And, and then our, our, our next goal is maybe to set up uh, a studio. Right. We have a studio but in mind. Actually, we have one in mind. We have one in mind. We just have to figure out the way to shoot it, lighting, all that good stuff. So that's another goal. So that's a goal. That, that, goal. That's a goal. Yeah. yeah. So uh, yeah. YouTube and figure out figure out maybe by Wednesday we can shoot there. Who knows? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We're, we're if not, it, we'll take, be back here at the, uh, the, wooden spoon, uh, the Wooden Spoon Podcast Studios. Right. Uh, other uh, ways known as the uh, the 
what's it what's his nicky call this the uh, uh the, the parlor. parlor the parlor, the parlor. <laughs> because it's the, the parlor, parlor. Right. off to the parlor. parlor parlor the parlor 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 so uh, we're about 30 minutes so that's why uh, we're gonna have goals um we would just want to tell everybody if you're enjoying this even on soundcloud uh switch over to youtube as well the nice thing about soundcloud is that you can be anywhere you don't have to you know you don't have to get onto youtube you know if you don't want to watch it some people don't want to they don't care about seeing what they're hearing right they just want to hear yeah. like a radio right. But you know, the, back in the days when we listened to the radio, we didn't. Right. Well, there's people them. that want to see it exactly. and hear it at the same right. time. Right. So uh, you're in the car, you might want to put on the uh, the audio so you can drive. You don't right. have to keep your eyes on the TV or right. on the uh, uh, whatever, uh, on, the, on the terminal. Terminal? We're at the airport? Nah, we're at the terminal. The freaking terminal. Uh, your, your phone. Terminal. Phone. You device. Said. Phone. Device. Just say phone. But no, because other people have devices. They have the, the iPad. They have they have different things, okay, Mike. Okay, you're categorizing everything. They have different everything. things. So All I say right. device. All right. When you're driving, you can't be on your device, so right. you listen. But when you're home, you can pop it onto your computer. You can put it on your Roku. Your you can terminal. watch it at terminals. <laughs> if you're on gate eight right now, yeah. you're born in. Um, <laughs> So, so this is good. This is good. Yeah. Um, so hopefully we're gonna get sponsors. 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 Yeah, that's, that's a goal of ours. It is, but to me that's so funny. Right. That's now. the only way you're gonna get money, know, Mike. But it's just too much. But we're the only gonna way you're gonna get money. Uh, yeah, we're big shot to get sponsors. It could be anybody. I know. It could be anybody. It could be Don Vito. Don Vito down the street <laughs> wants to sell his <laughs> zucchini from his garden. And we can say, hey, if you thank you, Don Vito. If you, if you need thank zucchini. you for the sponsoring of the zucchini. <laughs> Imagine our sponsors, our first sponsors are like people just selling vegetables. shit from their house, yeah. like sauce. No. Like, hey, you guys want good sauce? My mother, she has them jarred. They're in the garage, 13. That is the you know, best. You bushel. Don Vito, our sponsor, Don Vito, we're, and his locally grown We just zucchini. have people like, hey, yeah. uh, I have a friend of mine who's, draw, who's drawing some pictures. We want to buy some. Our sponsor of the and week. We'll start posting them in yeah. back of us. Uh, we'll get sponsors. I'm uh, telling you right now, sponsors will be flow, flowing, oh, throwing their stuff no, at us, throw throwing throw their stuff at tomatoes. Uh, <laughs> throw <laughs> so uh, that's our goal. That's our goal. I'm gonna edit this video. I'm gonna edit, edit this it video. It's send it. Unbelievable. Send it. Edit. Send it. So, uh, producer Tolly. Producer Tally, uh, how is school going? You're doing the online schooling. Everybody's online uh, schooling. I would be so How's dumb if I had to do that. It's terrible. Uh, Why is it terrible? It's, Charlie, because, it's Charles Barkley. Because terrible. No, it's terrible. Nobody, nobody's on the same page yeah. with anything. How yeah. are you supposed to, uh, how are you supposed to uh, give somebody a note, pass them a note? When you're like a love note? Remember back in the old days? Oh you'd write then you get caught. Would you like to go out with me? Uh, Check yes or no. Would you like no. to wear my barat? Or Do you remember? We used to, I don't know if you guys, you, Do you remember getting caught? We used to do like multiple. Oh, yeah. We used to do like multiple choice. If you like me, check yes <laughs> or no. We would give them like the yes and a little quiz. And then, and then we're like, it's a little pop quiz. And then and some dick, some bully dick, he would intercept it. He would intercept, and then read and you it out. forgot about him because yeah. he was sitting over there. Because he's an asshole. Russell, 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 I'm talking to you. Russell stole talking to you, hmm. and he would be like, and, 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 and bullies always have like, I don't know, a feeling of something shit's going down. Yeah. Even if they're not looking, they're, they can feel like yeah. they're, they're douching this. They're like, oh, oh, I, I, I feel somebody throwing a note. Yeah. And they turn around yeah. at the perfect time, right? And they go. Ch -ch 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 Oh, look at this what do we got what here. What an asshole. Oh, from Carlo to Becky. Yeah. Oh, do you like me? Check yes or no. Carlo has a girlfriend. <laughs> Carlo is gay. <laughs> yeah, remember those days? Oh, and by the way, to you, to you people that are getting bullied, to beat a bully is to be a bully. So don't, <laughs> I don't understand what that means. To beat a bully, you have to be a bully. Oh, you have to bully that. Absolutely, because the, but then they say don't bully. Ninety percent. You're stuck. Ninety percent of the time, they will squander and put their heads between. You know what? Their I, you know what I found out a lot about because I am. That's what I, I used to do. I did find this out in my. I wasn't a bully, therapy. but I bullied the bullies in my therapy. Um, I don't go to therapy. therapy. I'm actually a doctor. Oh. Uh, I'm a therapist. Right. Um, so, what I've learned is a lot of bullies, unfortunately, very sad, are bullied at home. By their well, parents, probably, and that's and that's tough that's because tough. kids should not be bullied. treated like that. So when they, they get home, be slapped around, when, when not they, bullied. No, <laughs> when they get to school or when they get around, 
they have to feel some kind of control because at right. home they, got they have nothing. Right. So they start bullying people. Right. So generally, a bully is insecure or something's happening at home. Right. I'm not giving or them excuses. Just a real dick. Oh, dish, douchebag. Douchebag. I'm not giving them excuses. Right. But a lot of times, when you get older, you realize they're the ones actually going through a lot of shit. Right. So, like you said, when you start bullying them, they 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 they, they get really small oh. because all of a sudden they feel like they're, they're back, back home, home again. So that's why when you say bully a bully, bully, uh, bully. that's when they stop because at one point, then they realize, oh my God, what am I going to do? I'm being bullied. Right. Just like home and they shut down. So, just don't do it. Just and if, do and it. if you're getting bullied, I know it's tough and it's scary, but sometimes you just go, you just ask like, dude, like, what's up, man? Why, why you, you know, stop the shit, you know? Like, I, and you might get beat up. I, I don't know. I don't know how that works, but I think the root of it is they're having problems themselves. Yeah. How to fix it? They might just have to get their to ass beat by a group of kids. That's the problem. Yeah, that's a, and, <laughs> and then they realize, oh shit, this bullying thing and, really doesn't work for me. At the end of the day, bullying's been around for thousands of years. People, humans just bully humans. There's certain and, and there's that. certain ways to get bullied. And I hate saying bullied. There's certain ways uh, growing up that you need to know what you can handle. Right. Right. Like when somebody goes, hey, uh, hey, douchebag, whatever, and you need to be that person going, what? What? Oh, what you call that. me? That's the best. You know, you need to have that in your life yeah. because if you don't, if you don't, you're gonna grow up as a very timid person. Right. Um, so I think a lot of times, I don't know, the word bullying is what we want to use, but you need that person to, to push you so you can learn how to push back. And go, uh, and, no, you ain't walking on me, bro. Have a little pride. Because you know us, we yeah, we get oh, people. What? Would you just say yeah, to me? I know, you're uh, a monster. Yeah, you're ridiculous. <laughs> so, but a lot of people always think I'm like quiet. <laughs> no, don't, don't. But and you know what I what I also me. learned is even okay, even if the bullying gets to a point where you have to fight the bully and you get your ass kicked, you're fighting. But the exactly. bully's going to respect you. Yeah, that's you I, yeah. actually fought him. Right. He beat the living shit out of you. I'm gonna tell you. But, I'm gonna tell you a story. We used to go uh, back in middle school. Uh, middle school into high school, even into, uh, my God, going out of elementary school, um, we had a group of friends, and there was one kid, uh, I'm not going to say his name, but he would be the bully, right? He would be the bully. And we had another kid who was the one getting bullied, and I was friends with both of them. I never got bullied. I, I don't remember, know why. I remember Webster, right? Webster, Webster and Grant him. and all that, but no, don't but say didn't names. Didn't he beat the crap out yeah, of Yeah, don't say names. I well, didn't say it. Names. And, uh... But the nice thing, the thing that I respected was the one getting bullied never backed out. Got his ass whooped over and over and over. And and the bully didn't learn. He just kept on doing it. But the other guy just kept on taking it until one day he went crazy and he got him back. He got him back. Good. It wasn't legal. <laughs> got him back good. But it was, it was, he got the message. Yeah. Don't fuck with me. So, no, he didn't shoot him. No, no, no. Producers going, pop, 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 No, he didn't shoot him. He did illegal things. A lot of things are illegal. You don't have to jump right to murder. Right. So, I didn't say he killed him. I know. You can't shoot someone without killing him. He probably did shoot him. Right, you can shoot him in the foot. You're probably right, though. He probably did shoot at him. So, I'm saying, what I'm saying is, eat your vegetables and stay strong. Stay strong. And don't get bullied. But if you do get bullied, Talk about it. If you I'll do talk get to bullied, someone, I'm go. gonna be honest. I've never yeah. gotten bullied. Me neither. No, nah, Russo's don't like get people. Always like, t like not people, but like, like schools and stuff. They yeah. Don't talk about it. Like, yeah. I don't even know how to we, relate to yeah, it. I don't even know how to relate. I've to never it. even like really seen it. Right. 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 That's well. Good that's thing. good. That's a good thing. That's good that you've never seen bullying. At least in high school. I mean, in college. Can I ask you a question? I, like, uh, what kind of man are you? Huh? What kind of man are you? I'm gonna explain. I'm gonna explain. Okay. If you were in a room, school, and a guy girl was getting bullied would you walk by even what what, I mean, what would like you do you want, like an actual like answer yeah I no i want to think i guess it kind of, like no because people would be to be like well just say what you want to hear but like if you want like, no i want you no yeah well i mean i guess for i don't know it like depends like if i guess was like didn't know who they were like realistically i would i would probably just see now if you ask me that I don't have to ask you that. Ask me that. I don't have to ask you just, that. But, like, if it was somebody I knew, like, if it was, like... Well, obviously, a friend is a friend. Then it's, like... But, like, even if it's, like, somebody I knew. Like, if like if I was, like, walking by and it was, like, somebody... I'm like, going to tell you what I'm going to say, then I'll let you end it. I'm going to let you end it because I know what you're going to say. But, okay, so that's your... You, you know, you would you would choose. You would choose. I would yeah, just be in the moment. This like, is what I would do. Right. This is what I would do. 
if I didn't know them, I was a total stranger. I mean, now as a 51-year-old man, <laughs> you're going down. Right. Anybody give them, I'm like, uh, what are you doing? Right? Even if you have to fight. But back then, I probably would have stayed there and just looked at that guy. Right. Like, like make him uncomfortable. Like, what? Like, like he didn't know. He wouldn't know if I was with him or without him. So maybe that would deter him. But I would stare. Fighting-wise, I probably wouldn't have fought him uh, back in high school. I, I, I never, I didn't fight. I mean, um... But I would be there to make him uncomfortable. Like, dude, you're being watched. And then more people would probably come because I would be like, tell my friends, oh, no, check this guy out. All right. And then he would be like the dick. So um, maybe I would do that. I don't know, though. Mike, I don't even have to ask, but what would you do? If I were to see something, to be honest with you. School. School-wise. I mean, adults, I would I kill I would probably someone. ignore it. But if, if a fat kid's getting bullied, oh, I'm all over it. Back to fat kids. If a fat kid's, Why is that, Mike? Because I was fat. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't bullied though. But I know how fat people are. If have you? I, 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 I have a soft heart for especially chubby kids and donuts and donuts. No. Chubby kids are just people. You don't, like don't pick on this poor little kid because he's fat. Same because that not. to me, that is the ultimate. Yeah. Like they're already sad. They're inside. already sad. They're inside. already dealing with demons. They're, they're exactly. already and not. A, but any other, I would probably not do anything, Car. If you want an honest answer. Yeah. Back in high school, I probably... Well, you were the one that was heavy. <laughs> yeah, I prob- no, but I don't. I, I probably would walk by and not... Let, That's I, the thing, though. I would think, let someone else deal with it. You know what, you know what I always... You know, and this is going to go longer. You know what? And i got to edit. You know, what I, you know what I worry about? You know what I worry about is... Um, what the fuck are the teachers? They don't give a shit. Where the hell... I, I know. I'm not asking. It's a rhetorical question. Um... <laughs> I mean, we're supposed to be protect. Our kids are supposed to be protected by the adults. Like I said, as a kid, I don't know if I would be. I would get involved. Yeah, but, but as an adult, if I saw bullying, oh yeah, but car oh. kids, kids are kids are smart, man. They know where teachers are not going to be. I they understand. Know that the teachers don't but have do eyes not, all over the place. do not put posters all over the freaking school. No bullying, no bullying, no bullying. And then all of a sudden, you don't even know who the bullies are. Right? Oh, I don't know. Oh. Everybody knows who the bullies are. Everyone. Right. Everyone knows. Now, again, Natalia's probably the closest thing to high school in this room. Obviously is. In this room. Uh, in this Nikki room. is in high school. Right, but he's, he's not in high school. school. He's right. in middle school. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. In high school, because he's a year out of high school. Maybe it has worked. He said he hasn't seen it. So that's a good thing. Maybe. Maybe. You know, he has a good thing. Maybe but now, a different but you have to understand now, a lot of kids now grow up. Bullying. A lot of kids, yes. Cyber a lot bullying. of kids are growing up with, um, with a lot more openness mind. Right. Than we did. Right. Right? A lot of, you no, know. We had to hide a lot of things. A lot of people. I mean, we had to hide a lot of know, things. I mean, I'm, I'm going to get. You know, when we went to school, kids were gay. You know that. They just had to hide it because, God forbid, if anybody knew, we would. it would be horrible. Right. Nowadays, it's not even a thought. It shouldn't be. It's not, no, of course not. It's be. not even a thought. So right. I think these kids have learned better. Uh, so I guess bullying is going down because. A lot more things are so open now. Right. And uh But there there's still that there's still that uh that uh um, This is funny as shit, isn't it? There's, there's still that part of society that still won't change. Of course. You got older people, and you got, got people and, that are biased, and, you got people and that are then like uh, I said, the biased, cyber the cyberbullying is skyrocketing. Yeah, that's horrible because then So it's you know, but I mean, people, Stop bullying people. Some people say we're bullying right now yeah. because people have to watch us. Watch us, right. We're bull <laughs> I'll bully you to watch me. No, we don't bully anyone. All right. Uh, so, guys, this is awesome. This is our first test run. It will look different. Uh, right now, it's not edited or not. I'm going to play a little. I'm going to play around with play this. With it, play with it. Play with see what's going on. Hey, Dom. Yeah. Um, okay, producer, uh, intern, Tali, what have you learned this week? Well, this today. Week just started. What have you learned this that weekend? this is not a week? What did you learn this weekend? Today? Yeah, what did you learn did today? Did you learn? Uh, I speak up. You guys go first. I always have to go first. Oh, right. oh yeah, I found you your last. Okay. You actually go first all the time. I do. Uh, Brother Mike, what did you learn this uh, podcast? What I learned this podcast is that uh, I'm a lot more calmer once the camera's on. You are. Yeah. I don't know if I like uh, it. Uh, you'll be, you'll I'll, be worse. I'll get, yeah. yeah, I'll get worse. And you're sober. I'll get worse. <laughs> and I'm sober? <laughs> <laughs> I came here early today. Yeah, so. yeah, you're sober. Yeah. Uh, so you learned that your uh, camera goes on you. Camera, I'm you, a lot You have more. to act different. Yeah, no, no I'm not no. acting different. I'm I'm taking like it in stride. <laughs> I'm taking it in stride. I don't want to. I don't want to say too much or uh-huh. confuse anybody, uh-huh. which I normally do. Confuse everybody. Right, right. Never get a straight answer. Out. Um, 
That's good. So that's what you learned. That yes. Cameras make you cameras feel a Cameras makes me calm down a little bit more. Yeah. All right. I, I learned. Uh, I learned that uh, that Uncle Mike, brother Mike, never went fishing. <laughs> never went fishing. He wears shit that he's never done. I, I started fishing. You started fishing when I went to Lap um, Lapper's Landing. Uh, uh, I, I learned that there is a beautiful camp for strippers. Yes. At Lap Dance Lap, Lap Island. Lap Dancing Landing. Uh, and I also learned, I also learned, mm. if uh, I I don't wear pants for another month, they're going to be looser. Right. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, so that's what I learned. Uh, intern. Tally, what did you learn? Now it's back to you. Uh, I learned uh -huh. that... Oh, he's cracking himself up? Yeah, that, you are laughing um, right now, aren't you? If the haircut places don't open up, Uncle Mike <laughs> is going to go into Supercuts and give himself his own... <laughs> That's right, said. I did say that. What'd you say? I said I'm going to break into Supercuts and did get you? haircut. I did. Oh my God. You caught that? You did. I did not catch it. So he's going to be... He's going to... Uh, uh, and then I'm going to go to he's jail gonna, with a new haircut. He's going to turn Uncle Mike's going to turn into a barber. Yeah, and I'm going to go to jail with so a new haircut. So can I ask you a question? Yeah. If you're gonna do wait, that, wait, wait. why don't you just cut it at home? <laughs> why do you have to break up? Break in there. The oh, you want to do the whole thing? You want to look at the mirror? You want to pretend? You want to pretend? Yeah, I want to pretend. And then you talk to where are you from? <laughs> <laughs> uh, from Liverpool. <laughs> from Liverpool. Oh, yeah. cool. What are you guys doing this week? Oh, well, you know, I just did a podcast. You know, I can fall asleep right now. I always say that to my hairdresser. You know, I can fall asleep right now. Oh, I can fall asleep right now. Oh my god, it's actually crazy that dog groomers are essential, but. They are? Yeah, dog groomers are essential, but people... Like I guess we're doing a field trip. Hair, we're getting haircuts, haircuts, bitches. Getting our asses trimmed. Oh, uh, is it like dog barber, um, barbers and like girls' hairstylists or whatever? Uh-huh. Like, those aren't essential, but for dogs. That's what the world, you know? I don't understand. I, I don't understand the world, but I'm getting a haircut today yeah. at Pet Shop town um they're not a sponsor that's, yet that's but a new, that's a new oh i did learn that our we're gonna have sponsors that are just regular people down the street uh, the, Don Vito. selling Don their, selling selling their garden uh, products right. uh so that's that right. and uh that's awesome man right we did good we did good all right guys so that was episode 12 wow. of the wooden spoon podcast Jordan first uh, first video episode number one edited number one edited yeah video. not yet edited yet and uh edited it I'm gonna it. I, I, I learned that English is our third language. <laughs> our second language is stupidity. Um, so yes, uh, watch us uh, on YouTube, uh, the Wooden Spoon YouTube channel. Again, SoundCloud on the Wooden Spoon podcast, and please share and hit the ding to get notified on Dong. YouTube every time we have a new video. Ting, you will hear Dong. a ting tong ting. And we will be on your living room TV, and you can enjoy us with a bucket of, of ice cream and popcorn and beer and whiskey. Yeah. yeah. That's one fat person, I could say. Who's that? That's, That's one, one fat person. Yeah, it's me. A bucket of ice cream, popcorn, and we say We say overweight. Yeah, we don't say fat oh, right. anymore. Overweight. Because right. he, he gets very... He gets very... Chubba-lubba. He gets very we're sensitive. Very much I, I forgot racist. that we're very politically correct. We're not. We're Absolutely not. not. I would not never come over. We're, we're not even... We're, we're I would never come over. I'm not even a politician. Why would I be correct? <laughs> right? We had that. That's the best. All right, guys. We love you. Check love us you. out. Stay safe. And, stay uh, clean. Hopefully, episode 13 will be a lot better. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, dabba, bada ba diba, zuba ba diba, muzi wa ba ro ro. Oh baby, baby, I love you.